I know I already said goodbye, uh, goodbye to you folks, but there was something I can't neglect that I did that I think I need to include in this, okay? So let me talk a little bit about the ink component. Um, uh, the, the opposite of, uh, th uh, of there not being enough surface energy or, or the film not having enough surface energy Kind of the flip side of that, although not really the opposite, is where the ink itself has too great of an affinity, affinity for itself. And now inks, uh, when you're talking about fluids, you're talking about surface tension. This is something common. Uh, this is something common. Uh, this term is common and people often confuse surface energy with surface tension. But generally speaking, if you're talking about a fluid, you're talking about surface tension, okay? Because the surface forms an elastic membrane, if you will, around the fluid, and it has a certain tension to it. And that's kind of analogous to surface energy. And so when you're talking about uh, a solid material, then you're talking about surface energy, okay? All right. But those two things are analogs. They're analog analogous to it, to them, to to each other. Okay. So, if the ink's surface tension is too great, then that could also uh, result in uh, you know something similar to the surface energy of the film being too low. Okay. So what might you do? Again, I'm not advising you to do anything to your inks or. Uh, or, or any aspects of, of, of your uh, operation without studying it and deciding that it's something you want to do. But I'm going to give you an example just to shed a little bit of insight. Uh, I used to operate a 65 inch wide uh, CI press, six color. And I used to have similar problems. Lots of, in fact, I had, uh, it used to make me crazy. I hated it. We had just started this switching over to water based inks. And water based inks don't lay down as well as, or did not at least then, as solvent based inks. So, pinholing plagued me. And, you know, we, we worked with the ink manufacturer, we worked with our ink technician in the plant, and all those things. And we finally started to, in some cases, the, uh, the ink technician grudgingly would add a little bit of. of uh, I don't know if it was normal propyl alcohol. I don't think it was isopropyl alcohol, but some type of alcohol, right? The idea being that, that, that the uh, surface uh, tension of the ink would be reduced. And it did, and it helped a little bit. It did help a little bit. It gave it a little bit brighter color and all that. But you have to be very careful because, one, it, uh, just adding something to ink, you just can't do that. You really have to collaborate with your ink manufacturer. Inks are very special things that have balances and uh, of, of properties that you just can't fool around with arbitrarily. So you have to walk, work closely with your ink manufacturer. If you don't work with your ink manufacturer and you decide to go it alone, the consequences of product returns, or rejects, and, and that sort of thing, you know, are yours to face alone. So that's something for you to consider. That said, you can experiment and get away with it as long as you employ the appropriate tests to make sure that what you did to your ink didn't diminish its, uh, you know, make it mess it up. Uh, so now, but another thing about it is monitoring the ink. Let's take you, so let's say you end up using something like alcohol in your ink, right? In water-based ink. If you already have solvent-based ink, then, you know, then this, this doesn't apply. But if you have water-based ink and you're trying to reduce the surface energy of the ink and you use this alcohol, well, in this example, alcohol volatilizes out of uh, the solution perhaps or maybe this other additive you might use might. So all these things start to happen when you fool around with additives in terms of the balance of the ink, how uh, things volatilize out of the ink relative to each other and what that means over the long term of running it and you know, all this stuff. You got to be careful, okay? But I just wanted to mention that the ink mentioned that the ink is another very significant component that you can include in the mix of things you look at. So Take care. Happy New Year.